Hey guys, here's a really easy way to figure out how to start picking color uh, swatches from different manufacturers like Kelly Moore, Benjamin Moore, Bear, etc, etc. So there are a lot of different ways to get the RGB or red, green, blue color values off of an image from uh, my PDF, like my plan sets with the elevations on them. Uh, but this is a really simple one, uh, image-color-picker.com uh, slash color-picker-from-screen. Um, and if you do a screen grab of the PDF and paste it in here, uh, you can then click anywhere on the screen and you'll see the preview is giving us the different colors that we're selecting. And it's also giving us the red, green, blue value of all these different paint swatches. So if we started here with this light beige, um, which it calls silver, we can grab this red, green, blue code, which is 188 red, 173 green, and 156 blue. Let's also grab this other color here for this example. So we've got this medium beige, we'll call 161 red, 139 green and 118 blue. There are better ways. Um, I have a different way of getting the RGBs values off my screen. I don't have to worry about constantly clicking in this box. Uh, now let's come over here to the real magic, which is easyrgb.com slash English slash match.php. This website is fantastic. So I'm going to give it the data of RGB values on the scale of 0 to 255. There's all these other different color codes we could use. CMYK is also pretty common, but that's more of a print thing. Since we're going off of a computer screen, my PDF, we're going to use red, green, blue. Uh, we enter in those red, green, blue values from before, which one of them was 188 red, 173 green, and 156 blue and we're going to ask it for colors from any of these paint collections oh boy there's a lot but let's just randomly pick one here just completely at random and say match and it's going to spit out this really cool table that says based on the values you gave the closest paint color that matches this value is uh well up for grabs but i sort of gravitate towards maybe these two so you know since we did a screen grab before i'm just going to do another screen grab of this i don't want to have to write this down but i guess you could you could say hey let's get a swatch of canary park and a swatch of antique windmill and then let's come back up here and enter the other rgb value we had 161 139 and 118 and again hit match and now the colors are different and uh you know maybe maybe this is the right match here this looks pretty good this one too so maybe we're going to go with uh even evan and toscana so anyways that's sort of the easy way i have of taking the um, models i make in sketchup and the pdfs i give to clients and builders as with you know with elevations in them how we can quickly find different paint swatches depending on the builder's preferred uh manufacturers some want killing more some want benjamin more, and you know some will die on that hell so i say hey you know there's there's plenty of ways to find close matches but in no way should we really pick the colors based off of uh you know anything we see just on a screen you know, because our screens are calibrated differently and if the dimness on our monitors are lower or higher, the colors are going to read different. So, you know, I said, let's get two or three colors of each and we have the builder painted on the wall and we pick from that. We pick what looks best on the most prominent elevation because the paint color is going to look different on all the elevations. The northern elevation is going to look dimmer than the brighter southern elevation. But, you know, if the northern elevation is the one that you know, faces more prominently, maybe that's that's the more important one to, to pick from. So that's my five-minute spiel on how to pick colors. Hope it was helpful.